Who's bad? <coughs> I would take that 100 times over the reaction she had to the Tamiflu. New concerns tonight about Tamiflu, the antiviral medication often used to treat flu. The CDC, FDA are warning this drug can have some pretty serious side effects. A lot of comments in social media today of people warning others not to take the medication. So let's try to clear up the confusion because there's a lot of confusion about this. 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy is here to help us to better understand what we should do for ourselves and our families. So stay away, steer clear, or continue to administer this. You know, one thing we have to say is the side effects that we're talking about are very, very rare. The common side effects with Tamiflu are going to be nausea, vomiting, maybe some GI upset like diarrhea. But these hallucinations and the instances of harming yourself, luckily, are exceedingly rare. So really, I do believe the benefits for Tamiflu outweigh the risks. Having said that, I don't think everybody needs to get on Tamiflu. So who should? So I think people that are in the high risk group, the CDC recommends, the people that have the risk of complications should take Tamiflu. That's gonna be people with chronic illness, if you already have heart disease and asthma. If you're pregnant, you are at high risk for serious complications. Really young children, some people say under two, maybe under five. And then the elderly, people over 65. Over 65 is elderly now, huh? Well, <laughs> in medicine, it's always has right. been, right? <laughs> but yeah, people over 65 are also more vulnerable to the serious complications. I think if you're in that group, it makes sense to take the Tamiflu because it may prevent the serious complications and shorten the risk. For most healthy adults, most people 18 to 50, you're going to recover from this with rest, you know, toast and chicken soup, and you're going to be fine. When do you take Tamiflu? It works best if you can take it within 48 hours of being exposed, and that's part of the problem with it. You may not know mm -hmm. when you were exposed or when you contracted the flu, but if you can figure that out, it does work best if you take it in the first 48 hours because it prevents the virus from replicating. Important information we've covered. There's a lot of misinformation, confusing information. Just as as a mother, as a daughter, as a friend, as a doctor, what are you doing right now to try to prevent yourself from becoming ill and your loved ones? So, yeah, as a healthcare provider, I am very vulnerable to this because we're exposed to sick people all the time. I made sure my whole family was vaccinated, my parents, my son, everybody was vaccinated. Our entire office has been vaccinated. Our hospital recommends that. I think it's a really important thing. I also think we all have to be very vigilant about washing our hands, hand sanitizer, and try really hard if you're touching surfaces not to touch your nose your mouth your eyes because that can ha that can be how you transfer the virus but I think the other thing is if we have people in our office or in our families who have symptoms that could be the flu try to keep them away from other people don't go to work try to stay home you know this is a bad flu bug but in general the flu is a deadly virus every year Tens of thousands of people die from complications of the flu. The best protection is going to be the vaccine. Good advice. Thank you, Dr. Reddy. Appreciate it.